order to be this strong side lane threat because when it comes to team fights, I think I give Fnatic the edge once more. Yeah, I agree with Buff, but he's put forward like inside of that trade, but he's got double biscuit, double pot. So I think he'll be able to sustain up in the near future. Oh, Jun now goes in. Alvro stunned up with the shadowing strike. Now Yoya coming in as well. Jun falling low and he's hit with a winter's bite. Alvro gets first blood. The advantage. Okay, we'll be like, well, cool. Thanks for the leash. Humanoid's still only just getting past his tier three. Mirwin gonna get knocked back with the all out. Oscar in is still on the chase, and Mirwin flashes the pot enough to keep him alive. And now Fnatic get the Drake. <laughs> uh, how did that happen? I know the Hex Flash came over the wall from Jun, but after that, I'm not entirely certain. A minute and a half. The Grub's now probably going to be started by Razor. No way. And Jun overstep. The Root Caller comes out, and Jun's life is forfeit. And as soon as the Zyra went. All right. I thought that he would try to get the kill there. Looks like he was no, just going to No. Uh, lightning crash flash from Alvaro. Misses the Windows Pipe, but hits the auto attack. The stun comes down with the concussive blows. Humanoids here behind them should be able to get at least one. He's going to be stunned up immediately, though. Super still has the cleanse, but he can't cleanse a buster shot. A rocket to the back will send anyone packing. Humanoid flashing forward, looking for more. Alvaro eats the damage. Well. Yep. I see Razor walking towards it. Yeah, I, th I mean, this is absolute cinema. Like, there's no way Razor gets in here to steal this away. Humanoid is going to jump on for Scarry to put some damage down. The Drake taken. There was no smite for Elioia, I will say. But, and, uh, half, and I think the Fnatic really should prioritize at least trying to get one of them. Jump flashing into Elioia here. Elioia still has the flash, and that was... Um, it's gonna cost them. Yeah, it's gonna cost them a lot. Alvaro's here for the flank. Glacial Fisher goes down. Razzle gave to get away from it with his flash of his own, but Jun doesn't have that same liberty. MDK will take him out. I, this is kind of where we've seen Jun again. Sorry. For the yeah. Break. Yeah. It's the mid lane lead for Humanoid. Super has the lead in the bot lane. Lightning crash coming out from Noah. The minion tanks a couple of his auto attacks. He's looking for more. Jun is here, and okay, perhaps Noah might be able to build a little bit of a lead, but Jun takes the kill in the end. Still he jumps across with the blast cone. Jun is on the wrong side of the wall. The rest of his team down in the river right now. Frescawi spotted with that Squire's Bloom. The dragon down to 4,000. Frescawi still looking for the flank, but it's only onto Oscar in. Path Maker comes out. Glacial Fisher, the Magnus Storm, but they can't go in because the or the Braum Ultimate locks him in place. Strangled Thorns coming out as well. The lightning crash from Noah. Merwin dashes in, flashes out. Frescawi's trying trying to still get in from the side. And I think Fnatic will walk away wounded. Frescawi can look for more Oscar. Left to his own devices on the front line. MDK might want a little bit more out of this play. MDK playing so well around their poke, and they're going to keep this up as Fnatic tried to retreat to the tower. But is that actually safety? The okay, dance from is. MDK is so exquisite as they play so patiently. MDK, they don't want to ruin it now. Fnatic are looking for something. They know they have to push forward rather than go back. Mirwin, no flash, remember, and Humano just walks him down. The Ignite taking the buster shot. Super kills him. The dash in from Jun is blocked by the Unbreakable, and Fnatic went forward, but the only place they're going is back to the fountain. You don't MD want to go in on. Yeah, true, but I think it's now in a position where MDK have control yeah, of the map, Noah. and trying look to get vision Noah. is tough. Noah dashes across the wall, is rooted for Skawi going back in, and Alvaro finds it. It was with the ult. Yeah. Yeah. And now the Baron begun from MDK. They've already caught out Noah. 0 3 3 this game. And what can Fnatic do? Humanoid's in bot wave. He's not TPing in. MDK will get the Baron 22 minutes in. Now, Humanoid will take a tier 2 for this. But MDK will have three minutes with a Baron buff to find everything they can. Baron secured for MDK. They just cleared their whole jungle, so they really shouldn't be stepping outside of their base anyway. MDK don't have an easy avenue to uh, actually. A force a fight, unless, you know, Fnatic overstep as the Stranglethorn's gone down onto Elioia. Oscar looking for a little bit more Humanoid dumping in. The Unbreakable from Alvaro will save Elioia, but the Lightning Crash will find its mark. Magnus Storm into the Blast Cone, knocks Jun over the wall, the All Out on the Super! Oh my god! Fnatic could have sat and waited, but instead they decided now is the time to strike, and MDK have lost three. Mirwin trying to get away. He's distracting from Fiskawi, but Razzle knows he's there. Fiskawi has to dash away, no mana left on him. Mirwin might escape down towards the bottom side. Fiskawi dances back, but there's a plant waiting for him in the bush. 
Avina's flytrap, perhaps, as Fiskawi's caught, and somehow, Fnatic find four. This is where Fnatic are kind of hitting their stride, and if they can just find one moment like this, it Get could be super it. Unbreakable down for Skawi going to Razzle, though. The chain's only hit onto Junk. Glacial Fish is just short. Humanoid opening up on Mirwin. Oscar finds one. Elioia's caught out. Jun looking for that Magnet Storm. Super able to dash away from River Alvu. Does not have that same luxury. Super caught as well. And Fnatic immediately find the fight. Another favorable fight for Fnatic is taking everything. You can't hit what you can't see, and Fnatic are continuously just playing around these little choke points, finding those moments, and Razor getting that lock up onto Supa. It looked a little bit sketchy to begin with because it was a little follow-up, but it got the time that Fnatic needed to find those engages, and that setup from Oscar Rennen was beautiful. It really was, and like you have to look at Razzle in these last two plays. He lands the route over the wall in the play around the red buff. He lands this route, and as much as you say, yeah, there's no initial follow-up, it gets some of those spells out. It gets the arcane shift out. It gets the unbreakable out. Specifically against Ezra. You don't have the damage to take him down. Mirren doesn't have the damage to take him down. Mirren might get taken down, though. Yeah. Yeah, he does have the flash. Fiskawi coming to join the party. Humanoid with a double buster. Call him Keaton because he's Round bustering two. all over them. Humanoid's going to try and heal up. Fiskawi's down to half HP. Mirwin about the same. The chains land once again. Fiskawi's clone is forced out. Mirwin has an explosion I mean, shot Humanoid on him. Look at the bot side. Yeah, he, no, but Humanoid can just delay. Just Who cares? The, the bot the side is winning. <laughs> Fiskawi dives in. They have to get back. The TP's invested immediately. Fnatic get the inhib. Fiskawi won't use his teleport. How much damage MDK can do? They call him Oscar winning for a reason. TP comes in from Humanoid. Fiskawi dashes in, puts a bit of damage onto Jun. Alvo has to pop the Unbreakable early to try and keep this turret alive, but it's not going to be standing for too much longer. The Baron expiring in four seconds' time. Humanoid opens up on Super. Alvo goes in with the Winter's Bite. Glacial Fisher. Fiskawi has a good flank. Dashes in twice and takes out Humanoid, who kills Oscar Rinning. You don't need to. Jun and Humanoid are down now. It's up to Razzle, Noah, and Oscar Rinning to try and get out, but Noah. Oh. The shield just in time. Alvo going forward once again. Oscar Rinnin sacrifices himself for the good of the team, but MDK have other plans. Noah down. The shutdown to Super. It's a four for none in favor of, the, of MDK. The pings are going down into mid lane. MDK with five members alive, and only Razzle left means that they're looking to try and potentially end. Fescawi will come in with full life, full mana, and a full heart as MDK look to even out the series. How the hell did that just happen? Frescawi with the flank once again. He finds his avenue onto the back line. He shuts down Humanoid. They've set their sights on the Nexus. Jun is back. There aren't many minions left. Humanoid's up in eight seconds time. If Jun can kill a couple of these minions, maybe he can hold on to hope. He tries to take one. Concussive blows will slow him. There's still one minion there, and that's all MDK needed. Humanoid jumps in, but he can do nothing in the face of five mad lions. We're going to game five a back and forth banger El Yoya with a big smile on his face they're still in this series Fnatic were in a position to close out that game and it only took a single flank to flip the game on its head an incredible flank from that Frescawi once more getting those creative